Hi, this is Cheryl, and I'm coming to you today to show you how to do these cute little journal inserts. Um, I got the idea from watching Pam Daly on YouTube, and she made some beautiful ones, and um, so I was like, oh, those are so pretty. I can do that. So, of course, I changed it up a little bit because I don't have all the things that she has, and my style might be a little different. So, I made them the way I like them, but the basic construction is the same. So, let's take a look at them. So, for this one, I did it in blues because I wanted to use this beautiful blue sari that Sarah Simmons um, got me for Wednesday wishes, and it's it's just perfect. I had these, I had this little blue card or whatever, and you know, this other one. And so I thought, oh, that's perfect. Now when Pam did hers, I mean, it's made from book pages. When Pam did hers, she used a really old book and the pages had like decoration, like a, you know, some kind of print around the, all the way around the edges. And it was so pretty. But I don't have an old book like that, so I just use my regular book pages. And I used, um, I have a stamp that has roses and some scrolls and stuff on it. And so I just went around the edge of the book pages on the front and the back. And I did this one with Stormy Sky. And uh, so it's, you know, it's all done in blue. It has a journal card to match on the inside. And it sticks out a little bit, and it's designed to do that because it's pretty like that, and the bow sits right there. So, um, anyway, there's that one. And I did one in green, and I think the, the color of ink that I used around on this one uh, was old paper. So, this is very old music paper and a some kind of a whoops some kind of a digital that I that I um had and some you know flowers and and on the back I did you know another thing but I put a little bit of lace and I left it like a little pocket and you just saw a little tag fly out of it but anyway it's designed to just be tucked in a journal let me show you if I can find my book. I have a book. Okay. So if I were going to, you know, make a journal, just pretend. This is just a book. But make a pretend this is my journal. And I could lay this on the top, you know, and then put a closure and have this as a, or I could use it as a journal topper with a tag. And, and glue it down. I wouldn't even have to have anything. Didn't wouldn't have to be removable. And the size of it is going to depend on the size of the journal that you're making. And of course, this one would fit in this. Like, say these are my sewn-in pages, and I just wanted to lay this in here as an insert. That's the way it's supposed to be. And then you know your ribbon hangs out on the side, and when you open it to that page, you have this cute little insert with a hidden pocket <laughs> and it's very hidden here we go so there's that one and then you know this one is smaller I cut the I tore rather the, the pages down a little bit because you know the journal that I might want to put this in or whatever could be smaller now, this is pretty big and this one is a smaller size so you know the size just depends upon the journal that you're doing or whatever size you want it to be. And so same thing, has a journal card in here, you know, and it sits in here so that about three quarters of an inch hangs out. And you have your sari ribbon there. I have my sari ribbon. And um, so there you go. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. These are very, very easy. They come together very fast. And that is what I love about this kind of thing because I don't want to spend all day doing one thing. So, uh, so 
I have prepared a little bit ahead of time because if not, then my video would be so long. But anyway, what I did was I took my, my book, get rid of this. I just took two pages and I used glue stick all over and glued two pages together for the front and two pages for the back, okay, because I want it to be, hear that, sturdy, because we're going to put this together, we're going to put them together, we're going to, you know, they're going to be glued shut here, and the pocket is going to be here. Now, I'm going to sew around mine, and that's what I did in these. I took a decorative stitch and went around three sides. After I glued it, I let it dry, and then I used a decorative stitch around there. That just makes it sturdier. It makes it more finished looking. I just like it. You don't have to do that if you don't sew or you don't want to. You don't have to. You don't even have to stamp around the edges if you don't want to. You could use music paper or some other kind of paper, but book pages... You know, we all have a million book pages, plus I just love the look of the book pages, the writing showing through after I stamp on there. So uh, I just like it. So I'm going to do the same thing. So, but first I'm going to stamp around it because I just, I like it better. I could just leave it and ink around it, you know, but I don't want to. <laughs> So for this one, I'm going to do speckled egg. And I chose a different stamp, and I hope I can make this look good. This is completely different. This is not a flower. This is more like leaves or whatever. But I'm just going to go around the edge of this paper right now and see if I can make it look good. So bear with me. And I love the color of this. I have wanted this color. It's fairly new. I have wanted this color forever. So I finally just bought it for myself. Oh, so pretty. I love it. So we're going to do this on both pieces. Just go around the edge. You know, you don't have to be real precious about it. It's a junk journal. And, you know, but I just, I thought I would do something different than the other first two. And I like it. And, um, you know, we get all these colors and then we use brown all the time. Now I'm going to, I'm going to ink with walnut stain around the edges. I used to, vintage photo used to be my favorite, but now I've changed to walnut stain because it's more of a brown brown you know instead of a reddish brown and I still use vintage photo for some things isn't that pretty and so now I'm just gonna go around here real fast I promise this is not going to take forever it just seems like this part will but I wanted to do some of it on the camera I picked out things and I made a journal card and I you know I didn't do everything but I didn't want the video to be two hours long just to make this <laughs> which when you're on camera and watching it just seems like it's you know so I'll do that so there we go okay so now on the back of this one I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna go around here and I'll go a little faster this time now that I know how it looks and I like it. I just think it looks super pretty. So, hope y'all are crafting today. Having a great day. It's Friday. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know where the I don't know where the time goes. I do not know where the time goes. But it goes. So we go we're coming down the home stretch here with this and I love using stamps and stencils oh so fun okay so there we go got the other one done now we'll just go around it real fast with walnut stain 
because I want it to look vintagey. And uh, I'm not using a bunch of lace or anything um, in these yet. I mean, you could, and you could use that, like Pam used that pretty boho trims in hers, you know. And uh, so anyway, here we go. All right, so now we have our two pieces of our pocket. And I'm gonna glue it just a little bit on three sides. You could make a top pocket if you want, but I like that, I like that bow hanging out of the side. Just love that. But you could do a top pocket if you wanted to, you know. Okay, so this is just to hold this together. So we're gonna put it together. And the sewing is what is gonna really make it sturdy and just look finished. I love that. Okay, and I will sew around it here in a minute. But, let me, you know, if you got a little something sticking out that's white, you know, ink, Makes everything go away that should go away. Okay, it even takes care of them if there's a little bit of crooked <laughs> involved. All right, so there is the pocket itself. Now, I already picked out some pieces and I inked around them already. And I'm going to try them out here to see how I like them. And I do like it a whole bunch, but I'm thinking that I might, I might like a piece of lace on that. Um, let me see here. I have a whole bunch. I have a whole tub of lace sitting here. And I'm going to look in here and see what I have. Oh, this is, this is really pretty. I love that. I might use a piece of this. Okay. We've got some pink in here. And I have this applique. And I am thinking a piece of this would just accent that so nice. Let me cut a piece of that. And see how I like it. Oh. Love it. Let's see here. If I were to glue that down. Now, when I glue this down, I could leave this open here as another pocket. Or I could leave, like, leave it so that I could tuck something in there. I don't know if I'm going to do that. You could. I'm just telling you that you could do that. Oh, that's so pretty. Would it look better up here? Do I like it at the top? I wish you could answer me. Uh, do I like it at the top or do I like it at the bottom? Do I like it at all? I really like it there. Do you think that color is going to be okay? Or do I need something else behind her? I don't know. Let me see. Do I need something else behind her that is more like that? Not so, doesn't compete with the, with the stamping on the edge. I don't want it, want it to compete with it. Oh, I like that. Do you like that, ladies? Okay, let's go for it. Because if you overthink it, you'll never get it done. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. Hope I'm in frame. So, I'm going to put that right in the center there. I was going to rough those edges up, but I forgot about it, so we're going to go with this. Um, you know. You know, you only have to put your glue, mostly on most things, you only have to put your glue around the edges, especially for something like this. Because... 
you don't have to waste all your glue. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. All right, and then I really like that right there. That just adds a little something, something. Like right there. Yeah, right there. So I'm going to put glue, Fabri-Tac here on the good parts. So we don't have glue globs going on. I can't even see if my glue is coming out. I think it is. <laughs> oh boy. So here we go. Okay. All right. So I like it. Oh yeah, I like it like that. So there we go. So now we have the front of our pocket and I'll have to sew around it yet. But let's do the back. Okay, the back. Oh my goodness, the back. What am I putting on the back now? Um, That is a good question. So, I suppose... I could do music paper, old music paper and flowers. Do I want to do that? Wait. Maybe I want to put this behind it. Maybe. Like that. And like that. What about that? That's pretty. Look at that. Do I like it? I think I do. So I'm going to rock these edges up a little bit because I don't I want it to look a little bit, you know, tatty. This is old, very old ledger kind of receipt. I don't know, invoice something kind of paper and it's ready to tear if you look at it wrong. But if I take my scissors, I can just make it look, you know, a little deckled. And then when I ink it, it'll look good. So I'm going to it and I like it to look a little bit worn and torn and tattered because it just does something it gives it a better look it gives it that vintagey look that we love and I'm even gonna make it do funny things here I'm gonna crimp it in some places you know make it look a little tattered are you seeing that yeah yeah, I like it. So I'm going to put it down. Yeah, here we go. So it's going down. This is the back of this piece. So there we go. And this is very old and broken. As soon as I tried to tear it or cut it, it kind of broke. And I love that it did that and has that old piece of tape on there. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to put that down. Again, I could have left for a pocket on the back, but I'm not going to do that every time, everywhere. So this is really pretty on there. And I'm going to go ahead and give it some glue. All right. Going down. There we go. See that? Gorgeous. Gorgeousness. Okay. Now I could add something to this if I wanted to later, if I think of it or whatever. But for now... 
this is how I'm leaving it. Okay, it's just some old papers and they look a little tatty and I really like that. And I'm gonna leave them look like that. Okay, here's the front with the pretty lady. Okay, and now I'm going to go to my sewing machine here, which is up here. And I'm gonna sew around three edges with my little decorative stitch. And I will be right back to finish up. It won't take me long. You won't even know I was gone. Okay, I am back. I have sewn around the edges. And, uh, and there is my pocket. Now I have a, a tag uh, that I've already made. Let me cut these, this mess off of here. Sometimes I like the strings hanging. All right, so I picked out this little butterfly. I don't know if I like it on there without some, I think it needs thread to make it stand out. So let me get some thread off of my machine here. I, I like to put thread behind it to make it pop and maybe a button or some other thing to make it kind of, you know, pop off of that page. I don't know. We'll see. Let's try the let's try the the thread. So, the bunched up thread is always kind of cool. So, let's see how that goes. That enough? I don't know if it's enough. Let me add some more. I don't know. Let's we'll see. So I don't like it to look so perfect and all that. I like to make it look like the butterfly swirling around. Oh yeah, I like that. Let me swirl it a little more. How's that? I think it helps. I think it definitely helps. So, let's see, what else would help? I don't know. You guys have this problem? Well, you just don't know. Let me see here. Can I do anything with this? Oh my, what a big mess. Um, I don't know. Let me see. I don't like that gathering in there. Let's cut it out of there. Let's try something. Let's try some stuff. Okay, so I got lace. Nah, that's not it. <laughs> know what is it. I don't know what is it but let's see for now I think I'm gonna leave that off I'm gonna use this butterfly but it doesn't pop off of this too close in color you know what I mean so I'm gonna think about that and I can change that I can do that part later but it actually goes in this pocket the hidden pocket and it hangs out and then we're going to put our little sari in there tie a bow and this is just what makes it cute 
love it. I love sorry ribbon. It's luxurious. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So like I said, now I can add to this. And see this little bear spot? Oh, I didn't notice that. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna fix it up. Okay. I'm gonna fix it up. And um there you go. I love it. It has this old tape where the pages, a lot of the pages in this book, music book, were taped years ago with that old cellophane tape. I kept that on there. Okay, so here we go. See this? Let me move all this out of the way for later. My desk is an absolute wreck. Okay, so we have three of them here. And so they're all a little different. They're all, I love them all. And they look fabulous. You know, they're going to look fabulous in a journal. So there's the one that is made with the speckled egg. This is the one with the stormy sky. The blue and cream colors. And this is the old paper green. And this one has the pocket, and I'm not even sure I like this pocket on here, unless I put another piece up here and make it higher so that these don't fall 